and we want to thank you so much for coming to our life and our parents tonight. I trust you're looking forward to a very good night, and I know we have the church been looking forward to all of the boys and girls have been learning, and we trust that God's blessing will be upon this meeting deep and wide. Everybody go deep and wide. Hands up, who knows it? Who wants to do the actions at the front for me? Yes, come on up. If you can know the actions, you can come up here, deep and wide. Come on up, um, come on up, Noah. Yes, Josiah, come on up here. Yes, and Linda, do you want to do it too? Did any of the leaders want to come up? Very well. Okay, all together then. Deep and wide, deep and wide.
salvation and we thank you for all the boys and girls that have gathered tonight who are going to be uh, sharing with us uh, singing and saying verses we pray oh god that you will bless them and that you will help them and then the speaker as he comes later on we ask you that he also lord will know your special help and so we just ask you now to be with us and give us a great time together this evening for jesus sake amen underneath the government and uh, wear a mask or don't wear a mask and then we had social distancing three meters or two meters I was going to carry the tape with me several times because it was you never knew where you were with them and then we had the app on our phones to get into places now that was the last straw I think but um, it just reminded me that at the end of our time, at the end of our days in this earth, we'll not need an app. We'll just need to be ready. So I hope you're ready. Because um, when it comes to that time, Jesus won't be looking at the app on your phone. And I hope you're not relying on the app on your phone to get into heaven. I hope you're ready uh, when that day comes. Now, uh, I want to thank uh, all the girls that come in there every Friday night. And... Um, they worked very hard. We had was very glad to have them when Ruth was off with her accident. And uh, we do thank them just for coming in uh, every Friday night. 
and um, the girls and boys too have been working very hard and uh, we're going to start our program uh, just tonight with um, Did You Know God Made the Sun and Oh Be Careful. Now these two choruses go together and it just tells us that God made everything and he loves us and he died for us and so we need to be careful uh, we teach the boys and girls how we behave uh, because God sees everything. So we're going to have the boys and girls up here. Uh, first of all, you know the order that you have to come up in, boys and girls, uh, to sing their first two courses. Maybe not as vocal as 
followers of me, even as they also are of Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's a lesson of to the cupboard, for that's where her Bible was kept. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and that's the reason she wept. She went to her mother and borrowed another, and happy she went on her way. For just like her brother, she had promised her mother to read her Bible each day. Him belongs there. 
she's going to say a week home. Mary had God to do that. Mary had God's little lamb, he came to earth when dead, he died upon the cross for us to take us in joy. And we have another poem, and this is by Elsie Doonan and Jessica Edwards. <coughs> Jesus is the shepherd, guess who I am? I don't have any secret, I am his little lamb. <laughs> I dare have got a shepherd the best that there can be. His name is Jesus Christ the Lord and he has died for me. The Bible says in chapter John, verse 3 and 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says in 1 John, chapter 1, verse 7, The blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. The Bible says in Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 28, Let him not stole steal no more. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 55 verse 17, Evening, morning, and at noon, while I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57, Thanks be to God who has given us, the, given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 24 verse 15, Choose you in this day whom you will serve, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Nothing is as important. 
As telling of God's love, how he came to save thee and left his home above. So live your life for Jesus, and whatever comes to pass, will have a home and glory in this for all his love. Savior is he, he died on the cross and he did it for me. There in the grave for three days he lay, but then he arose in that glorious day. Dear Lord, I'm so glad you were willing to die to bear the cross, sins of those such as I. Please give in my heart till my life heroes three, then I'll be in heaven forever with you.
husband and Oscar. They're just lovely, nice little suits. Beautiful boys, and they're all looking beautiful, so they are. So I think they need a round of applause for all that hard work. You might listen to music, you might play football, 
you might go to school. These are all things that you need to do each day. Let's have the next one. These are some things that you, you do maybe as older people. You maybe spend time playing golf. How many people here love playing golf? <laughs> we spend a lot of our time sleeping. You see the older you get, boys and girls, you need more time sleeping. Many of us spend older people spend their time shopping. And these are all things that we need to do. But are they worth that much at the end of the day? Many of us ignore things that are important in our lives. Boys and girls, you may ignore things that are important. Older people are no different. We all spend time doing things each day. Some are really good and some are not that good. The Bible tells us in a verse, a really important verse, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Listen to what it says. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. For the next slide. Some people, boys and girls in the world, they want to get all the money they can. Maybe parents, you work really hard and you try to save all this money so you can pay for holidays for your children and for yourselves. You maybe buy all the clothes you can get. Boys and girls, maybe you get all the toys, the newest bike, the newest phone with all those different apps on it. You maybe try and get all the things you can. But at the end of the day, those things cannot go with you. We cannot take those things with us when we die. The Bible says again a very important verse in Mark chapter 8 and verse 36. For what shall it profit a man? And what good is it to you if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? You see, it's possible to get as much money as you want. It's possible to get as many sweets as you want. It's possible to get as many toys, as many cars, as many houses. Go on as many holidays as you want. But God says in his word, what good is that to you? It's worthless to you. You lose your soul. Your soul is the most important thing that you have. Your soul is the real you. It's the part of you that will never die. It's the part of you that will live on forever and forever and forever. It's the part of you that one day will go into eternity. Either to be with God in heaven or to be separate from God forever in an awful place called hell. The Bible says. It is no use to you to have everything in this world if you lose your soul. I'm sure if I asked you tonight, who wants to go to be with God in heaven? I'm sure every single hand would be up, it should be up. Because heaven is a wonderful place. Hands down again. Heaven is a wonderful place. Heaven is a place where there's no darkness. Where there's no sadness, there's no sickness, there's no pain, there's no sore legs. It's an absolutely amazing place. And we should all want to go there. But you know, boys and girls, and mums and dads, there's one thing also that will never be in heaven, which is really serious. There will never be sin in heaven. There will never be one wrong thing in heaven. And the Bible makes it very clear that the soul that sins will die. The person who sins will be punished for their sin, for the wrong things they do. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, it tells us who has sinned. Because some of you might think, well that doesn't apply to me. Well I can tell you on authority of God's word. Romans chapter 3, it says, for all have sinned. That includes me. But it also includes you. There is not a person in this world that is not born without sin. And a few chapters on it says, what we deserve for our sin. It says, for the wages of sin is death. Could we have the next slide? The wages of sin is death. Sin separates us from God. We cannot get from where we are to be where God is because of our sin. It keeps us separate. And so that sin in our lives needs to be dealt with. And we heard from the mouths of the children earlier on how that is possible. The verse was said, John chapter 3 and verse 16, for God so loved the world. God loved you and me so much that he sent Jesus to die on this earth. He died on the cross. He was buried. He rose again. Let's see the next slide. Jesus died on the cross. 
Why did he die there? He died because of the sin in my life. You know this. You've heard it week after week after week. I'm sure many of the older people have also heard it for many, many years, many, many times. That is the great news of why Jesus came. He came and he took my place on the cross. He became my substitute. A substitute and a football pitch takes the place of another player.
You must take his gift of salvation. You must pray to him and ask him to forgive your sins. Next slide. Many of you have done that, I'm sure. I know certainly many of the women have done that. Possibly some of the boys and girls have done that, I hope. If you have, if you're a Christian, two things you must do. Read God's word and pray to him. That's how you get to know God. That's how you get to know him better. If you're not doing that, can I encourage you boys and girls from an early age, read your Bible and pray to him. That is how your life has changed. That is how you can get to be close with God. Last slide. There's nothing there. There's nothing more to do. Why? Because God's work is complete on the cross. There is nothing more that I can do to earn my salvation. I simply have to come in faith, believing what God says in His Word and Bible, asking for forgiveness of sin, and He has promised that He will give me eternal life. Boys and girls, can I encourage you to do it early in life? Older people, can I encourage you as well to think again if you've never thought about it? What are you doing with the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you rejected him for years? It's tonight the night when you might come to him in faith and ask him to forgive your sin. To save as he can forgive the sins of the young ones. I trust and pray you'll do that tonight. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Patrick, for that lovely message. Now it's come to the point where we give out our prizes and our Easter eggs. So you've all said really, really well. And uh, just to explain to the parents, they get an egg for coming for their attendance and they give another egg for saying all their memory verses. And then they get also a book as well. Um, we did have a colouring competition as well. Um, all their memory verses began with B, and we had uh, sheets with Bs on them, and they took them home and done whatever they thought with them, coloured them in or put craft on them or whatever. So there's prizes for that as well, but when you give out uh, for their attendance and um, their memory verses, first of all. So, um, Paddy, could you come up and help me? Tommy Gallagher.
Um, Elsie Doonan. Laura Reed? No. 
as make do. No. Zach Bosby. Now, the ones that got this wee book here, are you listening, boys and girls? Otherwise, you'll not get your other book. The ones that got this little book here have another book to get. So whoever is holding one of these here, bring it up and we'll give you another one of these. This is your scenes and we sincerely thank her for her leadership uh, over this past year. Also the, the meeting has been recorded and it will be up on YouTube unlisted if you would like the link for that then do please contact me and you can do that uh, through our WhatsApp page or uh, through even our Facebook page and I'll send you on that link. Uh, just one other announcement, do you remember our gospel mission? It begins this Sunday along with the evangelist John Weir at 6.30pm and continue weeknights at 8pm. We really encourage you to come in and to hear what God indeed can do in your life, how he can prepare you 
as Paddy has been speaking, to go to heaven one day. And so do make a special uh, note of that in your diaries commencing this Sunday, 6.30, and there's leaflets on the hall table uh, to do that. We're going to just join together as we sing our final uh, chorus. You know, you can't get to heaven without salvation. And Paddy indeed has been reminding us of that tonight. And so let's sing this out, and then we're going to pray and close our meeting. in their heart that one day they're ready for heaven and ready for home and so we just pray indeed your blessing upon every family represented and we just ask you'll go with us as we make our onward journey in jesus name amen <laughs>